Hi there. In this video, I want to talk about recycle stream, bypass stream, and spurge streams. These are concepts used in mass balances to describe certain unique features of a mass balance. Unfortunately, they also make the calculations around mass balances a little bit more difficult. So what exactly are they? First, the recycle stream. So the recycle stream is exactly what the name says. It recycles part of the product stream from a reactor back to the feed. And why would we do this? We typically use re recycle streams to increase the overall yield of a system.
and these two are not going to be the same. So let's calculate the two of them. Now the conversion for the overall reaction is going to be the mole of the limiting reagent out minus the mole of the limiting reagent in divided by the mole of the limiting reagent in for the overall process. So that's going to be based on the fresh feed and the product stream after the recycle. So over the complete system. Now the conversion for the single pass or over the reactor once is going to be given is going to be given by exactly the same thing the mole of the limiting reagent out minus the mole of the limiting reagent in divided by the mole of the limiting reagent in but for the single pass so over the reactor which means we're looking at the change of moles of the limiting reagent before and after the reactor inside the recycle line And we know that the extent of reaction is given by the negative of the conversion multiplied by the mole of the limiting reagent in divided by stoichiometrical coefficient for the limiting reagent, from which we can get another equation to describe the conversion. And because we know that the extent of reaction is the extent of reaction is the extent of reaction, which means whether we do it over the single pass, the reactor, or over the, all, over the complete process, it is the same thing. Then we know that we can then determine the ratio of the conversion for the single pass to the conversion of the overall process as the mole of the fresh feed divided by the difference between the mole of the fresh feed and the mole fed to the reactor of the limiting reagent. And this is quite useful to determine the size of this recycle stream. So think about this. If we want to up our conversion, we need to put more material into our reactor. So having a bigger reactor and having a bigger pipeline to the reactor. So we are taking some of the product, putting it back into the reactor, making sure it reacts again by passing it around and around and around, and then pulling some of the product off. So from this you can see that the idea behind the recycle stream is to increase the conversion over the overall process by putting more material, some of the unreacted material that comes out of the reactor, back into the reactor and giving it a chance to react again. If we have a 10% conversion in the reactor, we're still basically going to have a 10% conversion in the reactor. We're just having more material coming in because we're taking some of what's coming off as the product back in to the reactor and try to convert that as well. I hope this helps. And I'm going to give you a video example of a bypass stream without chemical reaction and a bypass stream with chemical reaction in the coming weeks. Good luck.